Yes, my hair is still wet. It's the same freaking day. Y'all know I do this. Okay, so just deal with the wet, all right? Deal with that. Welcome back to Every Disney Movie Ever. My name is Justin. I'm watching Every Disney Movie Ever today. I'm going to talk about The High Flying Spy. The High Flying Spy is a 1972 television release about Thaddeus Lowe and how he lent, lent his air balloon, air balloon, hot air balloon, to the war effort to spy on Confederate soldiers. It's directed by Vincent McAviti, cinematography by Frank B. Phillips, editing by Cotton Warburton, music by George Bruns, and it's written by William Robert Yates, based off a book called High Spy by Robert Edmund Alter, and there really isn't any solid summary or plot summary, so we can't do a comparison. Film star Stuart Whitman as Thaddeus, Darren McGavin as John J. Forrest, and Vincent Van Patten as Davey. This is, in fact, somewhat based on a true story. Thaddeus Lowe did lend his hot air balloon to the Civil War efforts, and he did, in fact, head up the Aeronaut Division. Um, I knew none of this. I can't wait to ask my brother about it. I still have My brother knows, like, everything about war, so um, I can't wait to be like, yo, did you hear about, did you know about the hot air balloons in the Civil War? And he's gonna be like, yeah, and then tell me all about it. It's gonna be really interesting. I'm sure this story specifically is very fabricated, uh, because I doubt Davy actually existed. I bet that was just an addition to make it more for kids. So... I have no idea how real or how not real it is, but Thaddeus Lowe did exist, and he did lend his hot air balloon, and he did, like, get appointed, like, the aeronaut leader of the Civil War for, for the Union, which is nuts. Um, it was super predictable on the story side of it, though. Like, Johnny dying? Saw that coming from a million miles away, okay? The second him and Davey met back up, I was like, he's dying. 100%. Uh... I saw Davy going back home coming. I just, it was very predictable. But all of that being said, this wasn't that bad. Like it was pretty entertaining. I was never bored. I never felt like I didn't care about anything. It was pretty interesting. Also pretty entertaining because it's a, uh, a hot air balloon. Fascinating. During the Civil War. Fascinating. Favorite part is probably Davy getting to do the telegraph in the balloon. That was exciting. Least favorite part, probably John J. Forrest sacrificing himself. That was pretty sad. That was big sad. Recommend? I'm not sure. I mean, it's pretty interesting. So give it a watch. It's about two hours, though. It's a pretty long one. It was three episodes of the Wonderful World of Color or whatever. Wonderful World of Disney. I don't know which one it was at the time. But it's about three episodes. So it's a little bit longer. It's about two hours, uh, which was cool. It was nice to have like a longer one, kind of more thorough. Um, and I, it wasn't, it didn't feel as episodic. And maybe that's another part of why I like was into it. Um, least favorite part, John J. Forrest dying. As much as like Darren McGavin can play the most annoying, obnoxious character sometimes, he's always lovable. So I was sad <laughs> that he did that. Um, watch again the, I already, I already said that was my least favorite part. Oh my gosh, I'm a mess. Watch again, I don't know. Maybe, I doubt it. Only if like someone really wanted to watch it. Specific moments, the three dudes up in the air in the hot air balloon having no idea the Civil War started because they were like in a hot air balloon race and then they land in the South and are like, uh oh, what do you mean there's a war and now I'm in the Confederate side? Like what? Thomas, some random soldier looked like Jack Kinnanen or whatever his last name is. He's a TikToker, he makes me laugh. Um, and then Johnny dying was super obvious. That's pretty much everything I have about this. So my final rating is six hot air balloons out of 10. Uh, our total movie count is. <laughs> Parents at and Craig are still the same. If you want to keep up with movie I'm watching when, follow me on all socials to find out movie I'm watching when. I put out videos every Monday and Friday and sometimes Wednesday. Join Patreon. I got a tier starting at just $1 every video week early, coupon code for merch, exclusive merch access, etc. Buy merch. Merch is great. Merch is grand. Until next time, comment like and subscribe, but I'm not in charge of real life. You are, should you, and don't be the Confederacy about it. Bye.